For the past 25 years, I've worked in an institution with developing delayed adults. Then I decided to bring it home by fostering autistic kids. I would like to bring the experience that I have gained from these two things together to help you achieve a normal life. We gotta get in the shower again. Hi, um, I told you it was graphic, it was gonna be graphic, but I had to do it because a lot of people in the community actually go through this type of scenario, this type of situation. So I thought to myself, what is different? Because this caused me a lot of anxiety. It just drains you mentally and physically to be cleaning up BM like this and carpets where it's all smashed down. You go get the brush, you go get the shop vac, you go get water hot water and you're spraying it all down and you are degraded. You're, all your energy gets sucked out of you, let alone you still have to give the child a shower. You still have to scrape it up off of him and off of all his clothing, right? Well, what can we do? The difference in the institution setting compared to the home settings, the institution set up for these type of things. They have linoleum and they have wood floors. So the first thing I did was rip out that carpet. I, I can't handle it no more. Let's rip it out. We ripped out that carpet. Unfortunately, we haven't had wood underneath that carpet, but a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people, when they rip up the carpet, they gotta make all, they have to do the wood floors for themselves. And now they got these cool floor kits that you could do at Lowe's, you know, for yourself. And if you need money, go to GoFundMe. Tell people what you need it for. Say, my autistic kid is being all over the place and I, watch this video, right? Watch Tanya's video on normal life and see what I have to go through. Please come fund me, right? And so I have compassion for you. I have compassion for everyone who raises autistic kids, developing delayed kids, kids that have this problem. Because why? We don't have pampers, do we guys? We don't have these wonderful diapers that are huggies that hug, hug all the legs and all around the legs. No, 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 you don't. Not when they get older, you don't. We get cheap diapers that the state really, it's the only kind of diapers the state will pay for, right? And so, here's another scenario. So you rip out the carpet, you have wood floors, so it is so much easier to clean, you guys. I'm telling you, trust me on this one. You will, you will thank yourself so much for ripping out that carpet, okay? Next scenario that we have right here that can help us out is right here. Tidy whities right? Well, these aren't tidy whities These are actually, you know, regular underwear, okay? But see how they grip, all right? They will grip and hold on to your child. Bye! snug you know make sure that that BM does not fall out of there okay and then for even if it's okay even if your child all right he has leakage we deal with leakage right but sometimes our kids get older and they get to think it what is in our pants right I don't know why they do this you know but all of a sudden their little hand will start digging in the back going I got a new toy down there <laughs> I swear they think it's a toy that has been hidden from them all these years and then they look at it and they go oh, wow so they want to play with it so those kids who start getting smart right when they start figuring out there's something in their diaper get them one of these okay this is a wonderful one piece and I did see some people on the internet who already had this for kids who do um, like to tear apart their diapers and not wear their diapers and so you guys already figured out now they actually come with no feet in them, right? So, which is great because before when my kid was younger, I used to have to cut out the feet and then put it on backwards. And so what you do is you, then you put it on backwards, zip it up in the back, and then there won't be no surprise, maybe in the morning. So if anybody else has any other great ideas to help parents in this scenario, please post it down below because you know what? It takes an army to raise children like ours and we need all the help we could get. But there's my three solutions for you today and I hope all of you, all of you guys, continue to thrive for that normal life that we could actually achieve. Bye for now.